I have an idea. With all the structural stuff in place and a few days to go before we start filling, uh, that's mostly when I start working on accessories. So the two biggest ones are backstop netting and lighting. Having an oak tree above your rink is more of a curse than a blessing, but the one redeeming quality is it does give me a mount point for my light box. Originally I wanted to put a scoreboard up there and then on the bottom of it I would mount these lights that I already had that I had been using in the corner on the light poles the previous year. Well the scoreboard idea didn't work out, but the light box idea did work out. So I got to work putting together the box from some scrap wood I had around the house, affixed the light to it, got a really tall ladder, put it up in the tree, and it's been there ever since. In addition to the overhead lighting, I thought I'd spice it up a little bit this year and do some LED rope lighting. It goes under your liner, goes all the way around the outside of your rink, and it shines up through. The liner kind of acts as a diffuser. Uh, I'm gonna pin it down with some landscape staples. See if you can see those there. Uh, that'll hold it in place and make it uh, look a little bit cleaner. Uh, these were like $2 at the hardware store. These lights are from Nice Rink. They're called Nice Lights. Uh, they seem to be the best deal on LED outside, water, weatherproof, waterproof rope lighting. So if you're looking for something for your rink, check out Nice Rink's Nice Lights. To hold up my backstop netting, I got a three pole system from Gurok. It's three 10 foot poles. They disassemble into sections, which you can see here, uh, which makes it easy to store. And they go into the ground using this auger system. So it comes with a crowbar, three of these augers, you stick it in the ground, twist it around for a while, go down about 12, 18 inches, stick the pole in, connect the net to it. Simple as that. Uh, it's pretty easy, it is a little labor intensive. Uh, getting the polling system in before the ground freezes is super important because it's very hard once the ground is hard to twist these in. So make sure to do that. The netting I use is from Nice Rink, it's 8x24. Fits really nicely on the Go Rock poles because they're about 10 feet off the ground. Uh, and since the boards are about two feet high anyway at the bottom, uh, it covers all the area that I need. The last step to affix the netting to the poles is through these ball bungees. Wrap them around the net, wrap them around the pole. Gives them a little elasticity. Uh, they hold up well in the weather and they're super cheap. Having a place close to the rink where you can put your skates on really makes it a lot easier to get out there on the ice. And so I put some rubber matting down uh, by the patio that's right by the rink and turn the patio furniture around to face the rink. Uh, by the time rink is ready to open, I'll have a trail of this walking up to the rink as well. You can get this at Home Depot. They're about 20 bucks a sheet. Had some good weather today and was able to get a lot done. Uh, pretty much everything I need to get done before flooding, which by my count is about nine days away. Uh, when that happens, we'll drop the liner and the water truck will show up, and then we wait. Almost time. A couple weeks, we'll be skating. Be sure to subscribe to see the next video. Thanks for watching.